Abiraterone acetate, sold under the brand name Zytiga among others, is an antiandrogen medication which is used in the treatment of prostate cancer. It is specifically indicated for use in conjunction with castration and prednisone for the treatment of metastatic castration-resistant prostate cancer MCRPC, and in the treatment of metastatic high-risk castration-sensitive prostate cancer MCSPC. It is taken by mouth, once per day with food. Side effects of abiraterone acetate include fatigue, arthralgia, hypertension, nausea, edema, hypokalemia, hot flashes, diarrhea, vomiting, cough, headache, glucocorticoid deficiency, mineralocorticoid excess, and hepatotoxicity among others. The drug is an androgen synthesis inhibitor, specifically, a CYP17A1 inhibitor, and thereby inhibits the production of androgens like testosterone and dihydrotestosterone in the body. In doing so, it prevents the effects of these hormones in the prostate gland and elsewhere in the body. Abiraterone acetate is a prodrug of abiraterone. Abiraterone acetate was first described in 1993 and was introduced for medical use in 2011. It was approved for the treatment of MCRPC in 2011 and was subsequently approved for the treatment of MCSPC in 2018. The medication is marketed widely throughout the world. It is not available as a generic medication. Medical uses prostate cancer abiraterone acetate is indicated for use in combination with prednisone, a corticosteroid, as a treatment for MCRPC, previously called hormone-resistant or hormone-refractory prostate cancer. This is a form of prostate cancer that is not responding to first-line androgen deprivation therapy or treatment with androgen receptor antagonists. Abiraterone acetate has received FDA, the 28th of April 2011, EMA, the 23rd of September 2011, MHRA, the 5th of September 2011, and TGA, the 1st of March 2012 approval for this indication. In Australia it is covered by the pharmaceutical benefits scheme when being used to treat castration-resistant prostate cancer and given in combination with prednisone prednisolone, subject to the conditions that the patient is not currently receiving chemotherapy, is either resistant or intolerant of docetaxel, has a WHO performance status of clinical effectiveness A phase 3 study in subjects previously treated with docetaxel started in 2008. In September 2010, an independent panel found that the interim results in patients previously treated with docetaxel were so much better compared to those treated with placebo that it was unethical to keep half the study participants on placebo, and all patients began receiving the drug. Overall survival was increased by 3.9 months into this study, 14.8 months versus 10.9 months for placebo. A placebo-controlled double-blind randomized phase 3 study in patients with castration refractory prostate cancer but who had not received chemotherapy opened to accrual in April 2009. 1,088 men received either abiraterone acetate, 1,000 mg daily, plus prednisone, 5 mg twice daily, or placebo plus prednisone. The median radiographic progression-free survival was 16.5 months with abiraterone acetate prednisone and 8.3 months with prednisone alone, hazard ratio, HR, 0.53, 95% confidence interval, C, 0.45 to 0.62, P, 0.75, 95% C, 0.61 to 0.93, P equals 0.01. Available forms abiraterone acetate is available in the form of 250 mg and 500 mg film coated oral tablets and 250 mg uncoated oral tablets. It is used at a dosage of 1000 mg orally once per day with food in conjunction with castration via GnRH analog therapy or orchiectomy, and in combination with 5 mg prednisone orally twice per day. Contraindications Contraindications include hypersensitivity to abiraterone acetate. Although documents state that it should not be taken by women who are or who may become pregnant, there is no medical reason that any woman should take it. Women who are pregnant should not even touch the pills unless they are wearing gloves. Other cautions include severe baseline hepatic impairment, mineralocorticoid excess, cardiovascular disease including heart failure and hypertension, uncorrected hypokalemia, and adrenocorticoid insufficiency. 
Side effects Side effects by frequency, very common, greater than 10% frequency, common, 1 to 10% frequency, uncommon, 0.1 to 1% frequency, adrenal insufficiency myopathy rhabdomyolysis rear, allergic alveolitis overdose clinical experience with overdose of abiraterone acetate is limited. There is no specific antidote for abiraterone acetate overdose, and treatment should consist of general supportive measures, including monitoring of cardiac and liver function. Interactions Abiraterone acetate is a CYP3A4 substrate and hence should not be administered concurrently with strong CYP3A4 inhibitors such as ketoconazole, itraconazole, clarithromycin, adazanavir, nifazidone, sequinavir, tolithromycin, ritonavir, indinavir, nelfinavir, boriconazole, or inducers such as phenytoin, carbamazepine, rifampin, rifabutin, rifapentine, phenobarbital. It also inhibits CYP1A2, CYP2C9, and CYP3A4 and likewise should not be taken concurrently with substrates of any of these enzymes that have a narrow therapeutic index. Pharmacology Pharmacodynamics Antiandrogenic Activity Abiraterone, the active metabolite of abiraterone acetate, inhibits CYP17A1, which manifests as two enzymes, 17-alpha-hydroxylase IC 52.5 nm and 17,20-lyase IC 50-15 nm, approximately six-fold more selective for inhibition of 17-alpha-hydroxylase over 17,20-lyase that are expressed in testicular, adrenal, and prostatic tumor tissues. CYP17A1 catalyzes two sequential reactions, and the conversion of pregnenolone and progesterone to their 17-alpha-hydroxy derivatives by its 17-alpha-hydroxylase activity, and b, the subsequent formation of dehydroepiandrosterone DHEA, and androstenedione, respectively, by its 17,20-lyase activity. DHEA and androstenedione are androgens and precursors of testosterone. Inhibition of CYP17A1 activity by abiraterone thus decreases circulating levels of androgens such as DHEA, testosterone, and dihydrotestosterone DHT. Abiraterone acetate, via its metabolite abiraterone, has the capacity to lower circulating testosterone levels to less than 1 nanogram per deciliter i.e., undetectable, when added to castration. These concentrations are considerably lower than those achieved by castration alone, approximately 20 nanograms per deciliter. The addition of abiraterone acetate to castration was found to reduce levels of DHT by 85%, DHEA by 97-98%, and androstenedione by 77-78% relative to castration alone. In accordance with its antiandrogenic action, abiraterone acetate decreases the weights of the prostate gland, seminal vesicles, and testes. Abiraterone also acts as a partial antagonist of the androgen receptor, R, and as an inhibitor of the enzymes 3-beta hydroxysteroid dehydrogenase, 3-beta HSD, CYP11B1, steroid 11-beta hydroxylase, CYP21A2, steroid 21 hydroxylase, and other CYP450s, e.g., CYP1A2, CYP2C9, and CYP3A4. In addition to abiraterone itself, part of the activity of the drug has been found to be due to a more potent active metabolite, delta-4 abiraterone, D4A, which is formed from abiraterone by 3-beta HSD. D4A is an inhibitor of CYP17A1, 3-beta hydroxysteroid dehydrogenase, delta-5-4 isomerase, and 5-alpha reductase, and has also been found to act as a competitive antagonist of the R reportedly comparable to the potent antagonist enzalutamide. However, the initial 5-alpha reduced metabolite of D4A, 3-keto-5-alpha abiraterone, is an agonist of the R, and promotes prostate cancer progression. Its formation can be blocked by the co-administration of dutasteride, a potent and selective 5-alpha reductase inhibitor. Estrogenic activity There has been interest in the use of abiraterone acetate for the treatment of breast cancer due to its ability to lower estrogen levels. However, abiraterone has been found to act as a direct agonist of the estrogen receptor, and induces proliferation of human breast cancer cells in vitro. If abiraterone acetate is used in the treatment of breast cancer, it should be combined with an estrogen receptor antagonist like fulvastrant. In spite of its antiandrogenic and estrogenic properties, abiraterone acetate does not appear to produce gynecomastia as a side effect. 
other activities. Due to inhibition of glucocorticoid biosynthesis, abiraterone acetate can cause glucocorticoid deficiency, mineralocorticoid excess, and associated adverse effects. This is why the medication is combined with prednisone, a corticosteroid, which serves as a means of glucocorticoid replacement and prevents mineralocorticoid excess. Abiraterone acetate, along with galeterone, has been identified as an inhibitor of sulfotransferases SULT2A1, SULT2B1B, SULT1E1, which are involved in the sulfation of DHEA and other endogenous steroids and compounds, with key values in the sub micromolar range. Pharmacokinetics After oral administration, abiraterone acetate, the prodrug form in the commercial preparation, is converted into the active form, abiraterone. This conversion is likely to be esterase-mediated and not CYP-mediated. Administration with food increases absorption of the drug and thus has the potential to result in increased and highly variable exposures. The drug should be consumed on an empty stomach at least one hour before or two hours after food. The drug is highly protein bound, greater than 99%, and is metabolized in the liver by CYP3A4 and SULT2A1 to inactive metabolites. The drug is excreted in feces approximately 88% and urine approximately 5% and has a terminal half-life of 12 plus or minus 5 hours. Chemistry Abiraterone acetate, also known as 17,3-pyridinyl, ANDROSTA5, 16-DIM-3-beta-OL acetate, is a synthetic androstane steroid and a derivative of androstadienol, ANDROSTA5, 16-DIM-3-beta-OL, an endogenous androstane pheromone. It is specifically a derivative of androstadienol with a pyridine ring attached at the C17 position and an acetate ester attached to the C3-beta-hydroxyl group. Abiraterone acetate is the C3-beta acetate ester of abiraterone. History In the early 1990s, Mike Jarman, Elaine Berry, and Jerry Potter of the Cancer Research UK Centre for Cancer Therapeutics in the Institute of Cancer Research in London set out to develop drug treatments for prostate cancer. With the nonsteroidal androgen synthesis inhibitor ketoconazole as a model, they developed abiraterone, filing a patent in 1993 and publishing the first paper describing it the following year. Rights for commercialization of the drug were assigned to BTG, a UK-based specialist healthcare company. BTG then licensed the product to Cougar Biotechnology, which began development of the commercial product. In 2009, Cougar was acquired by Johnson & Johnson, which developed and sells the commercial product, and is conducting ongoing clinical trials to expand its clinical uses. Abiraterone acetate was approved by the United States Food and Drug Administration on April 28, 2011. The FDA press release made reference to a phase 3 clinical trial in which abiraterone use was associated with a median survival of 14.8 months versus 10.9 months with placebo. The study was stopped early because of the successful outcome. Abiraterone acetate was also licensed by the European Medicines Agency. Until May 2012 the National Institute for Health and Clinical Excellence NICE, did not recommend use of the drug within the NHS on cost-effectiveness grounds. This position was reversed when the manufacturer submitted revised costs. The use is currently limited to men who have already received one dose of taxol containing chemotherapy regimen. Society and culture generic names Abiraterone acetate is the generic name of the drug and its USAN, BANM, and JAN, while Abiraterone is the in and ban of Abiraterone, its deacetylated form. Abiraterone acetate is also known by its developmental code names CB7630 and JNJ212082, while CB7598 was the developmental code name of abiraterone. Brand names Abiraterone acetate is marketed by Janssen Biotech, a subsidiary of Johnson & Johnson under the brand name Zytiga. In addition, Intis Pharmaceuticals markets the drug under the brand name Abiratas, Cadilla Pharmaceuticals markets the drug as a Breton, and Glenmark Pharmaceuticals as a Biropro. Availability Abiraterone acetate is marketed widely throughout the world, including in the United States, Canada, the United Kingdom, Ireland, elsewhere in Europe, Australia, New Zealand, Latin America, Asia, and Israel. 
Research abiraterone acetate is under development for the treatment of breast cancer and ovarian cancer and as of March 2018 is in phase 2 clinical trials for these indications. It was also under investigation for the treatment of congenital adrenal hyperplasia, but no further development has been reported for this potential use. An oral ultramicrosized tablet formulation of abiraterone acetate, also known as abiraterone acetate fine particle, AAFP, or submicron abiraterone acetate, with improved bioavailability is in pre-registration in the United States for the treatment of prostate cancer as of April 2018 and has the tentative brand name Yanza. See also List of investigational hormonal agents section androgenics References External links Zydiga, Abiraterone Acetate, official website Abiraterone Acetate, Addison site